there's growing evidence that shift work, especially fluctuating shift work, uh, impacts our health adversely. The study did show that there was chronic impairment in overall global brain power, in memory issues, and in processing speeds that was equivalent to almost four years and three months of aging uh, with chronic exposure to shift work. It also showed that the duration of time, that after 10 years, there was almost a 6.5 year equivalent of aging in the impact on your memory and on global brain power. So that it, the lowering of your memory and the lower of your, of your global brain power was as if you were six and a half years older than you really were. And they looked at people from 32 and 42 and 52 and 62. But the good news was it also showed reversibility of the cognitive decline, but it took about five years for people to get back to their baseline in terms of memory and global brain power. It did not show the same return on processing speed. People who are in current shift work and are listening to this should certainly not run out and quit their jobs. It's important not to panic. While we understand that shift work can have an impact on your health, we've also learned that it takes years and even decades to impact on certain permanent changes that could occur. There are certainly interventions that could potentially reverse the cognitive decline as demonstrated by this study. They include stopping the shift work you're in and giving time, duration of time, to recover from it. In addition, you need to use what we call grandma's advice. Eat right, sleep right, uh, hydrate yourself, don't self-medicate with alcohol, try to improve your quality of sleep and the sleep disruptions that occur from the shift work by using better sleep hygiene uh, and watching your mood. Uh, you also want to not isolate and you want to be able to work with your family to find a common time that you can get together and enjoy uh, the social contacts. I've definitely seen cognitive decline in shift workers that I've had in my practice after uh, five to ten years of working in the shift work, firefighters, police officers, healthcare workers like doctors and nurses and others. But it's usually a cumulative toll of the impact of the obesity and the sleep disorder and the personal issues that come from uh, shift work and the disruption of their family life. I've seen a complete reversibility. <clears throat> I've seen a complete reversibility of the cognitive decline when the individuals have taken care of themselves, have changed their shift work, and may have responded to medications. There's also an interesting point that the authors were looking at causality, and they actually said, were people who were baseline may have had less cognitive decline to begin with, more able to function in the job and more quickly get out of shift work through promotions or doing other jobs and therefore left with a population that's more vulnerable to cognitive decline. Should shift workers take periodic breaks from their current jobs to preserve brain functions? That's something we don't know. It's certainly important for each individual to look at their potential risks. It's, it's important to be healthy to begin with. You have to look at your own susceptibility to uh, work shift. Uh, it's estimated that about 20% of people who go through the shift work really find it impossible to do and, and need to move out of that fairly quickly. And so there is a population of resilience to um, shift work, this circadian system disruption. It is just an observational study. So the causality of this is you know, not clear. It intersects with a lot of research that goes on that demonstrates that disruption of the circadian sleep system interferes with many, many chemical systems in the body. With all of the people that are involved in this, the 15 million individuals that do shift work that are across the board in many, many different occupations, from truck drivers, uh, so we're on the road and exposed to their drowsiness, 
doctors and nurses and other healthcare workers who are working late night shifts and have to make important decisions, pilots who are flying our planes, air traffic controllers who are giving out the instructions to the pilots. Uh, this all makes the population at large safety uh, at risk with how shift workers handle this circadian system disruption.